Thanks for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, and check out my Instagram for cool science and not science stuff. Welcome back to Biomechanics on Catalyst University. My name is Kevin Tokoff. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for future videos and notifications. In this video, we want to answer this question. In order to improve extension at any proximal interphalangeal joint, the middle phalanx must be mobilized in what direction? So really here, this video is going to be about mobilizing any of the interphalangeal joints. Now just to clear this up, the thumb uh, just has an interphalangeal joint because remember there's only two phalanges. There's a proximal and a distal phalanx. And so there's only one interphalangeal joint. At the other digits, two through five, we have three phalanges. So we have the proximal interphalangeal joint, which is between the proximal and middle phalanges. And then the distal interphalangeal joint, which is between the middle and the distal phalanges. However, even though this question is worded at the proximal interphalangeal joint, this will work for any of the interphalangeal joints. It's just here we're specifically saying the PIP joint. Okay. Now, we're given a specific movement. That's the extension. And we're asked to determine the direction of the mobilization. So we're going in this direction. We first figure out the roll. And then we'll know if it's the opposite or same as the slide, so we can deduce the direction of the slide, which will therefore be the same direction as the mobilization. Okay. Now, again, we need to start by figuring out the mobile bone and the static bone. In the case of the PIP joint, our static bone is the proximal phalanx, and the mobile bone is the middle phalanx. So when we're looking at this, the middle phalanx, its surface is actually going to be concave, and the proximal phalanx is going to be convex. You can kind of see that here in the picture. So when we do this mobilization, we're going to be mobilizing the middle phalanx, which is concave, relative to a static convex proximal phalanx. And so because we've got concave moving on convex, in this direction, the roll and slide are going to be in the same direction. Okay. Now one nice thing here is if we had worded this the DIP joint, Again, the mobile and static bone would change. However, in that case, the distal phalanx would be concave and the middle phalanx would be convex. And so you'd still have concave moving on convex. And again, the roll on the slide would be in the same direction. So any interphalangeal joint, when you mobilize it like this, the roll and the slide are gonna be in the same direction. Now, in extension of the PIP joint, the middle phalanx is going to move dorsally. If you think about that movement, look at your hand, go into PIP extension, yes, your middle phalanx is rolling dorsally. Okay? The roll is dorsal. And in this case, the roll is going to be in the same direction as the slide. We just determined that. So we just found the roll is dorsal, so the slide is also going to be dorsal. And because the mobilization is the same as the slide, again, the mobilization is going to be also dorsal. In other words, if we wanted to mobilize the proximal interphalangeal joint, we would mobilize the middle phalanx dorsally. We could also from here say that if we wanted to mobilize the DIP joint, we would mobilize the distal phalanx dorsally. It wouldn't matter if this were on the thumb or any of the other digits. To mobilize extension, we mobilize that bone dorsally. If instead of extension at the PIP, we wanted to mobilize flexion at the PIP joint, then we'd mobilize the middle phalanx palmarly. If we wanted to improve flexion at the DIP, then we'd mobilize the distal phalanx palmarly. Okay? And since these interphalangeal joints are hinge joints, flexion and extension are the only movements allowed. So hopefully this video gave you a good understanding of mobilizing the interphalangeal joints. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for future videos and notifications. Thank you.